Kids Adventure. How you doing? Sorry, I didn't mean to shake the RV. How many times have you heard that? Coming out on these steps, especially in a travel trailer or fifth wheel that have the photo steps. You step on the steps and the whole rig shakes. I have a solution for you. Brand new to the market, coming out. Stay tuned after our intro and see what it is. Hi there. Welcome to our channel, Boken is Adventure. Join me and my wife, Debbie, along with our three children, Brandon, Shannon, and Dylan, as we document our family adventures and provide some tips and hacks that we learned along the way. And if you like what you see, please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. We would definitely appreciate your feedback. Thank you for watching. So what am I talking about? Step stabilizers. Came out a few years ago, different types. There's one, it's like a little post you can put underneath your RV. Let's see if I get a picture of one to put right here. Second that came out was step stabilizer that has arms that you can put down. And guess what? Another company has come out with the exact same thing, built with a lifetime warranty, and that is Beach Lane. Look at this, the Beach Lane Step Stabilizer. Now what's neat about this is, um, this is made here in the United States, has a lifetime warranty. As you can see, there's no stickers on this. This is a prototype. And these are really designed for travel trailers, fifth wheels, etc. They have the double or triple steps that fold in, uh, especially the aluminum steps, uh, the way that the trailers are set up. As you know, as soon as you step on the step, the whole rig moves, right? Plus also, if you get to like a triple step, it gets to the point where it feels like it's gonna break, right? Every time you step on it, you're like, this is gonna break at any time. That's a huge challenge. Now, each plane saw the market dynamics. These are coming very popular. This is, guess what? We can build one too. Built with high quality material, adjustable arms, way to go. Now, does it fit your rig? When you go to the website, take a look. It'll show all the different types of steps that this particular unit will work on. It won't work on everything. For example, quad steps is one that most quad steps out there, this will not work. And I said, if you can install it, the problem is then you can't fold the steps. And that became a problem. You'll be able to fold it in while you're for travel days. Of course, you don't need it on the big fold down steps, on the solid steps, because they already have their adjustable feet. So take a quick look to see if it'll fit your rig. We'll go through the installation process here in a minute. We'll show you how to measure to make sure it'll fit. And also, I uh, wish I did have a travel chair and show how it folds up in there and make sure that clearance works well also. But the good thing about it is if it doesn't fit, you can always return it. The reason why you do something like this is when you enter or exit the RV, especially travel trailers and fifth wheels, you're looking for some stability, right? The thing moves. Every time you step on it, you put the, the focal point out further from the rig. So you step on it, trailer or rock, you feel it inside, especially if you're laying in bed. It's like, who is the world is going in and out of the trailer? Now, the good part is, it could be a security feature, right? Ooh, something's outside my door. Who is that, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this thing installed and see how it works on these steps, these quickie steps here on this Class A rig. And I think it'd be a pleasant surprise. So prep your steps to get this installed. A couple things you can do. First thing you can do is I need to get rid of this right here. By the way, if you have not noticed, I could not take the dirty step. <laughs> so I had to wash it off. So sorry the ground is wet. Now, an important thing to install this on any of the steps is you need to find the center, but also you need to make sure that the unit will fit in and fold up. Now, you can, for example, take these feet out. You need extra clearance. These feet will come out, you can store these. But the goal is not to do that every time, right? Make sure you leave it in there. So, fold it as far as you can. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna take a picture so you can see this from the top. I'm gonna to make sure you have plenty of clearance on both sides of the steps, especially if you fold up in there. Now, in this particular unit, the data class A, this is gonna mount under here, right? That's gonna be down here. So, when this folds up in there, this stays at the bottom. So, I have to worry about clearance either left or right or get cut in between. Simply because this is on the bottom, when it folds up into the unit, it'll be still where it is located right now. We are good to go. So, let's get this measured and start the process. The shadows are driving me crazy here is coming from the sun. So what do you need to install this? It's pretty simple. You need to drill a 3 16 inch bit, pencil to mark the spots for the four holes you need to drill in your step, a tape measure where you're going to measure the center of the step. Make sure you get right in the middle, right? You can make sure that's very important. It should come with an Allen wrench. Like you said, this is a prototype. 
Doesn't even have stickers on it yet, so I had to use my own Allen wrench. Everything you need hardware-wise is in the kit. You can see there is a screw, three washers, flat washers, fender washers, and a smaller washer. Those are gonna use, make sure you stabilize it on the step itself. So everything you need is in the kit, except for the drill, pencil, and tape measure. Let's get this thing installed. Now, if you see this, you'd be very careful when you're installing these. You see this came factory installed with this kid tape on here. And it's very easy to fall for the yellow line. You probably can't see it in the video, but when I mark the holes, they're not a straight line. So always measure correctly. Either clamp it on, get your bracket on there, and get your holes marked correctly. Don't use landmarks on your step because you can end up with a crooked stabilizer. You don't want that. Now, I did go ahead and use a punch and a hammer to get my holes started. So hopefully I will not end up with any sliding or creep by the drill bit. So here goes. I went ahead and did put some flat like paint in there to try to help with the raw metal after drilling through the steps. So do something, try to keep the rust down. Mission accomplished. Look at those bad boys right there. So right now, the RV is not on the jacks. I said, so it is road ready right now. The jacks are up. So this is the lowest the step's ever gonna go when we're sitting in a campground, unless there's a hill right here. So let's see how to deploy these in this configuration. You pull the pin, these drop down. Like that, you're good to go. Now, since we're done this, I'm gonna put this pin back in. In the first hole right here. Let's put this one in here. There you go. Now you're gonna extend your feet, pull the pin. Extend the whoops. Extend the feet. So that locks in, that's locked in. And pull this pin, extend this foot. And it's locked in, and we are good to go. Let's take a look at this. Okay, here is a great example in hindsight. It probably been better to measure this when it was off the rig. <laughs> Already installed, so I'm gonna try to do my best this way. Nice thing about this step stabilizer from Beach Lane is the amount of adjustments you have for height from the bottom of your step to the ground. And right now, these are in a stored position. As you can see, in the travel position, these pins are holding the arms up. I pull this out. You see the arm, you got three holes in the arm itself, and there are three mounting holes here on the bracket. Gives you a, a huge range of adjustments on the height of your steps based on the ground, terrain, etc. you're at at the campsite. So give an example if I put in the first hole here, first hole here, this is probably the lowest you can go. Put it like that. These are pulled all the way in. And from the bottom of the step, see we're right, we're about four inches. So in theory, especially for class A, you can have these stabilizers down and only be four inches from the ground. That is something else. The other extreme, I'm gonna put the third and the third. So that, so third hole on the arm, third hole on the bracket, let's extend these down. Now I can only extend down, you see that's the last hole right there. And we are at 14 inches. So in theory, you can have your bottom step 14 inches from the ground, release both arms, put them in the third hole, extend your arms all the way down, and be 14 inches off the ground for your bottom step. Okay, question for you out there. As, answer this question for me. Why is it when you're trying to shoot a video, you have shadows right where you're trying to film? Now, the good part about it is you can see the stabilizer, the sun's shining on that part, but that's the challenge of shooting in here in the wintertime in the shorter days. As you see right here, let me step up on this. Solid as a rock. It doesn't even move. So imagine what this can do for your travel trailer, class A, class B, fifth wheel. This is exactly what you need from Beach Lane. When this video drops, 
This should be available either through Amazon.com, and I'll put a description in the link below, or via BeachLane.com. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this is a prototype that I'm helping out with Beach Lane to see how it works on a Class A. Well, we really hope you enjoyed the video of the step stabilizer from Beach Lane. We're new to creating content. We're still learning our way how to do this. Uh, good thing about it is I do have some mechanical skills, so it makes things like this fun to do and easy to do. But with that said, I want to keep in mind for you, if you're watching this video, this is one of the easiest RV accessories I've ever installed. Really, once you get it lined up correctly, make sure your clearances are correct, drill your holes, four screws, and you are good to go. So we want to thank you, Debbie and myself, for watching our channel. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up and a like. We definitely would appreciate it. And subscribe to our channel as we continue to grow. It helps us out. With that said, if you have any comments or feedback, please send them over. You try to figure out how to create content. You hope you're doing the right things. I already joked about the angles and the sun being a challenge. Don't even have my sunglasses on now. But put some comments in there. And I'll be more glad to answer any questions and take the feedback you have. And hopefully we can create better content for you on our channel. So we're Bokin's Adventure, and we hope to see you out on the road.